but COVID restrictions limit access to dining inside. But one mountain town has found a creative way to solve this problem with an aim to help the local economy and keep businesses busy. Carrie X5's Lena Takata has the story. Dominique Bastian takes care of and refurbishes gondolas. But like many other people this year, her business suffered due to the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic, putting her on the verge of bankruptcy. I work a lot with Vail Resorts, Snow Basin in Utah, all those, all those key resorts, and everybody canceled their contract. Everybody. I didn't have anything. That's when Mountain Village, a small ski town near Telluride, asked to buy some refurbished gondolas to use as dining spaces. And Bastian and her team got right to work. We disassembled everything, clean everything, because those gondolas are very old. Now this gondola right here is over 30 years old, and refurbishing one of these takes over 100 hours with a team of seven people. And we had a great, great team of people from the woodworker, the painter, the welder. And the result of all that hard work looks like this. A product received so well, Mountain Village ended up ordering more totaling 25 gondolas. We saw it as a outdoor dining amenity. Um, there's cross ventilation, so we are up to code with current public health requirements for indoor dining. But Mountain Village purchasing these gondolas wasn't just a lifesaver for Bastion and her team. It's also helping out local business owners in the ski town who rely on business brought on by ski tourism each winter. They're grateful that customers have an opportunity to come pick up takeout from them and then enjoy them out in the gondola cabins. And now the plazas of the town have lovely and beautiful gondolas that will last well beyond the pandemic. First on the Western Slope, I'm Lena Takata, KREX 5 News. The gondola shop also makes photo booths, saunas, and pretty much anything else you could want out of the old gondolas. Visit us at westernslopenow.com for the link to their website. And now law enforcement is unable to locate the